Yes, that's old school RuneScape being played with a Game Boy Advance as the controller. This is no joke, it's a real and openly available now product, though it does take some technical setup. Let me start by walking you through each piece of the puzzle. The GameCube or Wii is needed to load the program for doing this onto the Game Boy. The GameCube has an attachment called the Game Boy Player, which natively can use a Game Boy as a controller. But if you use the original disc, when you disconnect the GBA, it stops working as a GameCube controller. Using homebrew made by Extremes, when we boot the GameCube into GBI, the homebrew made by Extremes, GBI, a different uh, custom Game Boy Advance as GameCube controller program will launch, which stays active when it's moved between the GameCube and the Game Boy, uh, GameCube controller adapter for the PC. So now we're up and running with a Game Boy acting as parts of a GameCube controller plugged into a PC. But why stop there? Other controllers like the Xbox 360 controller have been shown to be used to play old school RuneScape before. Why not use a GBA? With Joydu Key on top of our GameCube USB adapter drivers, which you can download from a massive, I believe the person who makes the USB adapter third party driver, Joydu Key lets us map the Game Boy buttons to a virtual mouse and virtual keyboard. So I've got the left up, down, and right inputs mapped onto a virtual mouse, the left and right onto a virtual scroll wheel, letting us zoom out and in on the character here, left clicking with the B button, right clicking with the A button, and then I can use the select button here. I'll also uh, shift, shift to drop here so I can hold shift and then A to drop there. I can pick up my willow logs again there with A. And then I can use the select button to swap profiles that Joydu Key is using for the Game Boy. So now instead of using the Game Boy for the mouse movement, I'm now using it for controlling up, down, left, right on the keyboard. And then one, two, and uh, three and four, one, two actually being B and A. So you can see here, B, A, L, R, there for the Game Boy Advance up, right, down, left, on the rotation, start, I'm using this as a space bar, and then uh, select, hitting select here, will swap my profile between the keyboard and the mouse movement. So now that I've demonstrated how I'm using the Game Boy Advance as a PC controller and mapping it into a mouse and keyboard for old school RuneScape, Let's see if we can do some of Tutorial Island here on a fresh account. So I'm going to pause a second here and I'll come back on that fresh account. So now we're back in here with a fresh character starting with the Game Boy Advance controller. Oh, I just switched scenes. Don't want to be doing that. So you guys can see now, again, the Game Boy Advance SP acting as the controller and we are back in old school runescape let's just uh let's switch up the head a bit oh i like that hair i'm a big fan of the hair the hair color big fan of that hair color and then let's uh let's switch the torso color a bit too here yeah it's more my style that's a lot more my style right there all right so now we've accepted We can start advancing through the dialogue with the space bar, like I was talking about. And then I'm an experienced player. I would hope if I'm doing something crazy like this. We can go into our options menu. Boom. Click back here. Switch back to my keyboard. So you can see how this isn't really too bad. It's a bit clunky is the best thing I could say about it. It's, it's not unusable. 
especially with the two profiles so that I can swap to having that space bar usage as much as I need. It's The clicking is really the biggest, but I think the clicking needs some tuning of how fast I'm moving the, the mouse actually when I'm using that D-pad for mouse movements. That could use some tuning. It's difficult to hit certain things sometimes. But it generally works pretty well. I will say also, I, I make no claims of liability with whether or not this could be detected as botting. I, I really have not played it enough to know whether this would be detected as botting. It shouldn't be with everything being mapped from one one key to one input over in the game. Nothing nothing's being assisted in any way by this. So we can see if we can make our fire here. Let me get our shrimps. Let's try to get those shrimps on the fire. Oh. Okay, we got the shrimps. We got to get them on the fire. Okay, they're attempting. Oh, we got, we got it. We got the shrimps. Boom. Okay, so it definitely it seems like we could use some tweaking with the mouse movement. But overall, I mean, I really like actually the keyboard. The way the keyboard setup is working is quite good. So now we've got our stuff there. Switch the keyboard layout. Switch to the mouse layout. Click the water. Click the flower. Boom, we got dough. Now let's click that onto the range. Boom. All right. Made the bread. Let's go back to the door here. Moving on. You can see how I've got the run on. I love the nostalgia of Tutorial Island. Continuing to make progress here. Quest guide. I'm talking about the quest journal. I started moving my mouse there, but really I gotta remember I got the space bar for that. Boom. And now we swap profiles again and we can go on to Vinaka. But yeah, that's the G Game Boy Advance SP controller. I'm playing a GBA SP Iron Man account. And uh, I might I might keep working on that. Depends how you guys like the uh, the content here. It, it's probably it could be interesting as like a limited account. I'll, I'll probably set it up as an Iron Man. And if you guys like the GBASP being used as a controller, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching.